Hello everybody, welcome. Uh, this one's off one of my subscribers asked me to do this one. I'm not 100% sure it was, I can't remember. I think it was Faye. I'm not 100% sure though, but I'll have to check. But this one I've never done before. So it's quite, it's quite simple, I think. But I've never done it. So it'll be a nice little review for me. So I'm going to do... Iceland Mash against Aldi Mash. Frozen. I've never ever done it. Ice coming with a pound. Obviously you can see the pound sign there. And Aldi was 89p in my shop. I've never ever done it, ever. It would be nice little experiment for me this one and all. Just to see what it tastes like. So let's go and have a look at how you cook it and see what's what. So what we got then, we got Iceland. Let's have a look at the Iceland one first. Say this one was a pound. Say it's cooking five minutes. Microwave. Uh, so what does it actually say? So I'll say I've never ever done it. Uh, 800 watt, that's what mine is. Remove the required amount, place on a microwave or dish, cover with film, pair several times, cook for three minutes, add two tablespoons of water or milk, I use milk, cook for a further two minutes and leave to stand. Three minutes, two tablespoons of milk, another two minutes, that's that one. Okay, the Aldi one, I mean that says cook for, for five minutes to cook this one as well. This one says made with milk and butter. Does that one say made with milk and butter? Perfect mash with milk and butter. Yeah, it does. So what's the Aldi one then? Cook times. Uh, see that. Place 130 gram. It's a microwaveable container, cover with film, with sauce of the same, stir and recover halfway through, let rest for one minute. Doesn't say add any milk in that one though. So I want to do it as instructions, so no milk in that one, and milk in that one. That's all I want to do as instructions, just to see. So let's open the, uh, the ice cream one, have a look. Oh, well I wasn't expecting that. Look at them. I wasn't expecting that at all. I just thought he was going to like lumps of frozen mash. Okay. That's interesting, isn't it? So what, how many grams was in that again? 908 altogether in that one. Let's have a look at the... What's the grams in that? 900 in that. So a little bit more in that one. Well, that was a pound and this was 89p. Let's have a look at this one. Well, a lot bigger look at them. So you wouldn't need so much in that, would you, I suppose? Look at the difference. Aldi, Iceland. So there's a big difference, isn't there? So what I'll do is I'll get myself a couple of bowls, right, Iceland ones here, 130 grams. I suppose that's one serving, isn't it, 130 grams per serving, is it? One more, maybe. 137, that'll do. So there's the Iceland one. I'm going to put the same amount of grams with a Iceland one. Because that Iceland one, one says as much as you want, so I'm going to do the same so we know. Two grams more, that'll do. And the Iceland one. Right, I put some cream film over them, get a couple of pieces. Oh, 
another one in there just to be safe there we go so I'm gonna stick the oyster in one in first and I wonder when I bring that out after what is it two three minutes is it yeah when I bring that out after three minutes I'll put that one in for the it's half time and then I'll swap and swap so when it's done I'll bring it back and we'll have a taste test right that's all done quite really simple that was surprise how simple it was now the ice the Iceland one I put two tablespoons of milk in the Aldi one I never because I want to do it as instructions still up them bowls so we're going to taste test them I haven't seasoned them yet what I'm going to do I'm going to have a taste without the season then I'm going to put a bit of salt and pepper on each and then try them that way as well so let's taste test them and just see what it tastes like see what's the winner right I'm going to do the Iceland one first this is the Iceland one I'm surprised how easy that was actually from I've never ever had it before let's taste it Hmm, that's not bad. That's not bad. A little bit gloopy. A little bit. Let's try the uh, uh, this one bolster up. It's come out last. Let's try the Audi one. Oh, okay. The Aldi one's a lot creamier for the taste. A lot creamier. And I never had any uh, milk or anything to the Aldi one. There's the Iceland one again. So let's put a bit of, su uh, a bit of salt and pepper in. I'm just going to get one turn on each. So it's about equal. Bit of salt. Bit of pepper. Now I'll mix the oyster in one up. But the smell nice. The smell really nice. A lot better with seasoning. Hell of a lot better with seasoning. Everything's better with seasoning, isn't it? It'd be good to compare these with Smash. Now the Iceland one, uh, the Audi one. Yeah, I think the Audi's, the Audi's better. You can taste it, you can taste it. it's more buttery. And you can smell the butter as well in the Audi one. Audi smells more buttery. What do you just say? Made, made with milk and butter. But so does the other one. So does this one, I think. Yeah, made with milk and butter. So is it there at the bottom, in the middle? For 89p and a pound, I'd go for the Aldi, definitely. I would. Does it say, uh, where's the ingredients on this? Concentrated butter, 3% in that one. Does it say in this one? Uh, you just say butter. Well, butter, butter milk, 3.5%. But how this taste? Smells a lot more buttery. It tastes a lot more buttery. Yeah, it does. Hmm. But they're both nice. They're both nice. But I'd go to Aldi, I would. I mean, I wouldn't go, to, if you shop at Aldi, I wouldn't just go to Aldi just to get that. It'd be a waste of time. 
But, there you go, nice little review for me. I've never done it before. I think what I'll do now, because I probably won't use this smash, smash, smash again, I might, might make yourself some uh, little bangers of mash. I might take them down to the owners, people. Give, give them them down there. Because uh, probably that'll just get, stay in the freezer and get through out eventually, otherwise I might do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I am the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Nice little quick review. See ya.